sum if and sum ifs are two of Excel's best functions. Using these two functions, we can create formulas that add data subject to one or more conditions. The primary difference in these two functions is that sum if allows only one condition to be evaluated, whereas sum ifs allows up to 127 criteria to be evaluated. Additionally, know that sum ifs is only available in Excel 2007 or higher. In this tip, you're going to learn how to create advanced sum if and sum ifs formulas that use cell references as the evaluation criteria. Consider the data currently shown on the screen. Cell B16 contains the formula sum if B2 through B15 greater than 1000. This instructs Excel to sum the data in cells B2 through B15 when the values in the cells are greater than $1000. Know that the criteria can be a number, an expression, a cell reference, or text. If the criteria are a number or a cell reference, enter it without any quotation marks. If the criteria is an expression or text, such as the one currently shown on the screen, greater than 1000, it must be entered surrounded by quotation marks. Given the previous statement, what if the criteria consist of some type of expression that includes a cell reference? In these cases, the expression must include an ampersand symbol to concatenate the elements together into an expression. To illustrate, consider the example currently shown on the screen. Notice that this data now includes a sum threshold amount in cell E2. Let's build a formula in cell B16 that adds the data in cells B2 through B15 that exceeds the amount shown in cell E2. The syntax of such a formula will be equals sum if b2 through b15 comma quotation mark greater than quotation mark ampersand e2. See that in this example, the greater than sign is surrounded in quotation marks and the reference to cell E2 is preceded by the ampersand symbol. Using these techniques, you can create some if formulas that use cell references for variable criteria. As the value in the cell changes, so too will the sum value. Now consider the example currently shown on the screen. In this case, two separate input criteria exist, and because sum if is limited to only one criterion, we must use sum ifs instead to sum the data in cells B2 through B15 based on the criteria entered in cells E2 and E3. The formula that has been entered into cell B16 instructs Excel to sum the data in cells B2 through B15 when the values in B2 through B15 are greater than the value in cell E2 and when the dates in cells A2 through A15 are greater than the date entered in cell E3. Note the use of the quotation marks and the ampersand symbols in this formula. Additionally, note that both conditions must be met in order for the data to be summed. Sum if and sum ifs are relatively simple functions that you can use to generate very powerful results by knowing just a few tricks. By combining operators such as greater than and less than with cell references, you can use sum if and sum ifs to create dynamic results that vary depending upon user input. Begin exploring how these functions can streamline some of your data analysis needs today. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.